everybody. Hello. I'm so excited to be back here for our next installment of the Future Hits Lunch Jam, or really Anytime Jam, because this video will be held on YouTube and maybe other devices or streaming platforms where you can kind of watch it anytime. But anyway, we are Mo Willems' unofficial opening act, so hopefully this is being posted right uh, before that today, and we hope you enjoy it. So this set of music today is dedicated to a group of students that were in a classroom, number 114, and we used to do a set list called 114 Jams, or Room 114 Jams, and we're going to do a bunch of those songs today. The first of which is called The Tasmanian Tiger, and I learned from a student in that classroom that a Tasmanian Tiger was an actual animal. Sadly, it's extinct now, but I never even heard of a Tasmanian Tiger up until a couple of years ago, so... I learn new stuff all the time and hope you do too, and please enjoy. And I think you'll especially enjoy this song if you're a fan of John Cougar Mellencamp and or one of my all-time favorites, Third Eye Blind. It goes like this. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for listening and singing along. This next song is entirely appropriate for me right now because I'm constantly needing to remind myself to stop noshing, stop eating so much food around the house, and if I do, make sure that most of my choices are healthy. The song's lyrics were co-written with a group of students that I worked with as a teaching artist a few years ago, so the lyrics are, they kind of sound like some kids had a hand in writing them as well. So we hope you enjoy, and it's called Eat Healthy Foods. Thanks so much. Some of the students in my teaching artist group spoke Spanish, so we threw in some Spanish in there as well. Hope you enjoyed. Our next song is called Spring is Around the Corner. And technically today, March 24th, it is already spring. But since we didn't get to sing this song together before spring, I thought we would do it together. Now when I say something is around the corner, it's a figure of speech. Meaning it doesn't literally mean spring is around the corner. Do you think that if I poke my head out the window, I'd see spring waving back at me and going, hello, I'm just around the corner. Hello. No. That means it's coming up very, very soon. So this song has a lot of hand movements and, and body movements that you can help out with at home if you want, and we'll just run through it together. So we're going to start singing the chorus of the song together, which is spring is around the corner. We'll sing it four times, okay? And you're going to repeat after me on this little intro part that I scroll through. So I will go S, and then you'll say S, P, P, R, I, N, G, and then I'll say, what's that spell? And you'll go, spring, okay? We'll warm up with it and get the hang of it. And then I, we'll all sing together in unison or at the same time, spring is around the corner four times. And in springtime, many, many things happen. One of the things that happens is the sun comes out. Can everybody go like this? The sun comes out? Fantastic. So in the song, I'll go, the sun comes out, and you'll go, the sun comes out. Got it? In springtime, the leaves grow back. So you can put your arms up like trees. I'll go, the leaves grow back, and you'll copy me and go, the leaves grow back. And then when something starts to grow, it's called sprouting. So the flowers sprout, so I flick my fingers. 
the flowers sprout, the flowers sprout. And then I'll go, the children shout, the children shout. You got it? Other things happen in spring too. Sometimes mommies like to go out and run. Can you all go, mommies run? Daddies like to smile. Doggies bark, woof woof. And all the while, so many other things happen. So let's start at the top, which means the beginning of a song. And we might do this song again sometime, so we'll get the hang of it. But we'll start with spring is around the corner. It's a call and response ditty, meaning I'll do the calling and you'll do the responding. So here we go. S P R I Oh, I messed up. Here we go. S P R I N G What's that spell? sun comes out, the leaves grow back, the leaves grow back, the flowers sprout, the flowers sprout, the children shout, S P R I N G. What's that spell? Spring is around the corner, everybody, spring is around the corner, spring is around the corner. and maybe we'll do that song again on another day and we'll be much more familiar with it including me because I haven't played it in a while it just became spring okay so again this little set list today is called 114 jams and there are many colors in this world an infinite number if you will and we titled this song 114 colors and the subtitle is let's just do seven for the time being because that would be Another tune if you want to kind of repeat after me. Maybe one day I'll bring a sidekick up on this uh, show with me, my aunt or uncle who I'm staying with, or do some sort of split, some sort of split screen deal. Who knows? It's only the second time I'm doing this. And maybe I'll have less shadow one day too. Maybe I'll actually move this in a better lit room. Who knows though? We're just all living in the day.
strawberry rose. Green is a gentle color. Many things are green, like my hat, which is a band. Lavender, plums, eggplants. Pink is a popular color. Many things are pink. Pig. Lovely job, everyone. This is really fun. I haven't played a lot of these songs in a long time, so I'm just getting used to them again. Thanks for singing with me. This song is called Little Friend. It's not anything to do with the film Scarface, I promise. Little Friend. It's about how to be in school or now how to be at home. And I just want to admit up front that it does kind of sound like a Coldplay song. Possibly Fix You. One of my all-time favorites as well. You're getting to know all of my favorite songs that I'm, you know, not necessarily always wanting to admit to people. Anyway, this is another call and response kind of song. I'll leave a lot of space after the, uh, after the lyrics, after I sing them. And then if you want to sing along, you can. Or not. And if you like the tune, maybe check out Fix You by Coldplay. Right away, you gotta, you know, wash your hands clean, little friend. Cover your sneeze, little friend. Be ready to learn, little friend. Your grades are what you earn, little friend. Do your schoolwork, little friend. little friend that's all we can do today right we'll do a few more songs in this installment so this song was also inspired by the same student who wanted to have a song about the Tasmanian tiger and all the words in the song were written by this this child let's see if I can remember it it's not quite right
quite right, is it? There we go. There it is. Woo! So, I never knew this much about dinosaurs until this, this student wrote an entire a tone, basically, about dinosaurs. And I funneled them into the song. So let's, here we go. Remember, every word on this this song was written by the student. The first few are easy, but I guess. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Finally, they lived in the Cretaceous period, a mere 66 to 145 million years ago. I can't even wrap my mind around how much time that was. One day an asteroid hit the Earth. It was the size of Manhattan. That's when dinosaurs became extinct. Some ancestors of dinosaurs live today. In fact, these ancestors have been keeping my spirits up lately when I hear them outside. Does anybody know what they are? You're right, it's birds! What? Okay, by the way, again, this song's lyrics were written by Joaquin F.C. I asked him why he likes dinosaurs so much. He said because they look cool, right? Here are Joaquin's favorite dinosaurs in no particular order. Ready? Here we go. A one, a two, a sing.
to go, everyone. Wow, that was a jaunty number, wasn't it? All right, we've got one last song for the day. And the reason I'm putting this one last is because I have an additional video available in the description below with a bunch of free educational resources that you can spend hours on, really, if you want to go that far with it. And yeah, it's a nice little extension activity if you are so inclined. You can print the materials up or you can just do them by looking at them on the screen and getting creative. And maybe one day we will actually lead you through some of these lessons, but now we're just focusing on getting some concerts up and going. So any suggestions too, I will take them gladly either in the comments or in our contact information at the end of the video. So again, the English language is weird. I don't know if we talked about it in this video so much as we did the previous one, but there are rules sometimes. So now we're gonna make double O with sign language here. O and O. When I put them into when I put them together in a word, they make two sounds. Does anybody know what they are? You're right. The first one is ooh. Everybody go, ooh, look at that cool screen. Ooh, look at that cool screen. It also makes a sound, uh. Put them in front of your nose, but don't touch your nose. It goes, uh, uh, like, oh, I should have worn new socks. Uh. Anytime you hear an ooh or an uh word in the song, give a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. The song is called At the Library. This past year I read a hundred good books. On Saturdays at noon, I love to take a look in the library. I still love to go to the pool and zoo but to get to the moon I need to walk by foot to the library in the past books took way too long to read instead of giving up no no I started practicing on a rainy day, all that I need is a lunchbox full of food and another good book from where? From the library, from the library, from the library, from the library. Thanks everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for our next next lunchtime jam session with future hits it's so good to see you thanks a lot for listening and stay in touch take care know how I can repay my parents for all they do at first I'm always bored I want to read fun of time are prime, oh the memories are fine.